the procedure for electing, the procedure for the removal and election of trustees were clearly stated. They are embedded in that. Now, to be a member of the trust, all you needed to do is either that you are an old boy or you are also somebody that is disposed to charitable giving. You can become a member of the trust by paying a hundred thousand. I tell you that when we had an interview, the topical thing since I became uh, president of this UOB is what we are talking about now. Because every branch and anywhere you go to, this is the issue. Who owns the college? Mm. Is it the trust or the old boss? So we have agitated this to the point. So the, the, the trustees are elected by members of the trust. So if you're not a member of official educational foundation, you cannot elect, and you cannot participate in the election of the trustee. But we have since moved because it does appear that there, everybody has now agreed that we had to put up this contraption in order to get what we wanted from government. So at the last homecoming, we insisted that it was resolved that the Fisher Educational Foundation is a baby of the old boys as well. We then voted for them, for the pre those who were to retire, those trustees retire in rotation, that those who were to retire should still, that is at the last homecoming, should continue on the board basically because of the load we were working on. And I think uh, you and I exchanged notes on that. So, in other words, today, the trust is the baby of the association. And the constitution of the trust is in the process of an amendment. And we have asked all branches to send in what they want the constitution of the Fisher Educational Foundation to look like. Portaco sent, US has sent, Abuja has sent. Some other branches have not sent. So I'm saying that the Fisher Educational Foundation we know will soon become the baby of the Old Boys Association in every sense of the word. In fact, by the meeting we are going to hold in our this month, all those who are interested in any amendment would have come it. Then the committee headed by the National Legal Advisor will look at what we want to be the constitution of the Fisher Educational Foundation going forward. And it is ambition that the old boys will be the ones to nominate or fill the vacancies in the trust, probably at the home coming. So that is what we are looking at. Uh, but like I said, there will be one or two slots for the government. So that is so I'm saying that, like we say, God, that the process of constituting, remodeling the Fisher Educational Foundation is ongoing. And it is expected that even this class can also uh, make inputs into the Sorry, my Hello. Hello, no.